Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on our first lesson in Module 5. Module 5 is fractions, fractions, fractions. And in Lesson 1, we're going to be building on something we worked on in Grade 3, which is unit fractions, that is, fractions where there's a 1 in the numerator. And we're going to be creating using tape diagrams to compose more complicated fractions. Um, and you'll see what we mean in just a second. So let's take a look at the first of our couple problems. We're going to do a couple of problems from number 1. Problem number 1 asks us to draw a number bond and to write the number sentence to match each tape diagram. The first one is done for you. Okay, well, let's take a look at letter B. Letter B has one, this is one unit long, and it looks like it's divided into four pieces, right? One, two, three, four pieces. Okay, and how many of those pieces do we choose? We choose one, two. So one of the ways we could do that in a number bond is that we could say that we have divided one unit into four parts, right? So that would be one fourth and one fourth and one fourth and one fourth, right? We've divided those into one fourth. And in fact, in our case, we've only, we're only going to grab those last two, so we're only going to, uh, to use these two, right, in our answer. So in our diagram, we could say that each of these pieces is one-fourth, right? And then the number sentence we would use to describe something like that uh, is that we would say we had one-fourth plus one-fourth equals, let's see, how many fourths would, one-fourth plus one-fourth, if we had two, that looks like we would have two-fourths, right? Excellent. We could simplify that later on, but that's all we would use. So if we wanted to express our specific problem in uh, a number bond form, we would say that two-fourths is made up of two things, one-fourth and another-fourth. So over here, this is an expression of just this part of the problem. And this up here is an expression of the whole diagram before we started deciding how many of those pieces we wanted. Okay, so I apologize if there's any confusion there, but we could do the number bond for all of the pieces, or we could do the number bond for just the gray shaded pieces. In problem 1F below, we'll see an example uh, where we're just going to do the number bond for the pieces that we have. Let's see. See what we've got here. We've got a 1, and does that make up the whole tape diagram? No, it actually only makes up these first five pieces. Interesting. So it looks to me like we've divided a whole into five pieces, so each of those pieces looks like they would be one-fifth, right? Let's see. I think that would be one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth, and then there's actually a sixth-fifth, right? So actually there are six of those pieces. Each of the pieces is one-fifth, but there are actually six pieces for a total of six-fifths. And put another way, we could do that number bond this way. We could say six-fifths is made up of, and then we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Each of those would be one-fifth. See if I can fit them all in here. It's a little tiny in the corner. One fifth and one fifth, right? Six fifths are made up of one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six fifths. One, two, three, four, five, six fifths. Excellent. If we were doing our drawing here, we would say that this is five fifths plus one more fifth. So that's another way we could express our equation. We could say this is the same as 5 fifths plus 1 fifth is 6 fifths. Excellent. So now we have a tape diagram that's well labeled, and we have a number bond that's well labeled to help us to, solve, to make sense of those problems. Let's take a look at one more. Number two says, draw and label tape diagrams to match each number sentence. And here we're told one and two sevenths, 
one and two sevenths. Oh my goodness. So we have we know that we can make a type tape diagram of one, right? And let's see, sevenths. We're working in sevenths. So could we divide that up into seven pieces? I think we can. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And each of those is one seventh. I'll go ahead and label each one of those. Thanks for being patient, sticking with me. So that part of the diagram is one, right? Seven sevenths or one. But actually, we have more than seven sevenths. We actually have two more here at the end. So let me just go ahead and add those. I'm going to add those two more. There's a one seventh here and a one seventh here, right? And so this part, all right, right here, this is two sevenths more, right? So I think that that would be. One and two sevenths is the same as well seven sevenths here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus two more sevenths, one here and one here. The great thing here is that even though we're working in sevenths, this works for any unit, right? We could say this about dozens, we could say this about bananas, we could say this about ones, right? In this case, we could say if they were in some other unit, we would say seven of them here plus two more of them here equals nine of them, which is kind of what we have down here. We have seven and two for a total of nine of these units. And in this case, our unit is sevenths, but it could be anything else in the world, and it would still work the same way. Seven of them plus two of them equals nine of them. In this case, nine sevenths. And that's a great way to draw a tape diagram that explains one and two sevenths. Excellent. Well, I hope you've enjoyed another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. We'll see you again next time.